Hi, this is Stacy Knight Davis at Eastern Illinois University's Booth Library. I'm going to show you how to search for electronic books using the library's website and the EIU library catalog. When you open the library's website, the tab that is open on top is the Articles tab. Since we're looking for electronic books, we want to use the Books and Movies tab. And type in a few words about what we're searching for. I'm using evidence-based practice as my search. We're going to search in the entire collection, and I'm going to click Go to run that search. When this loads, you'll see that we have regular printed books as well as electronic books. We want just the electronic books, so on the right-hand side where it says Narrow Your Search, under click the link for electronic books. This limits our search to just the electronic books. To view one of these books, click on the title. At the bottom of the screen, there will be a link that says Online Access and then gives a link. Click that and it will open more information about the book and give you the option to either read chapter by chapter or download the whole book as one PDF. The library has multiple vendors for electronic books. The last example we looked at was from Springer Publishing. We also have books from a vendor called EBSCOhost. Again, at the bottom where it says Online Access, we click EBSCOhost. When this loads, again, you have the option of reading through the book chapter by chapter, or you can click on the PDF full text link over on the left-hand side of the screen. For the EBSCO host items, these books are limited to one person using the book at a time. So if someone else has logged into the book, you will be unable to access the book. After the first person logs out, within 30 minutes, you should be able to access the book. If you receive a message about a title being unavailable or in use, please wait 30 minutes and try that title again. If you have any questions on using electronic books through the library's website, please use the Ask Us link on the homepage to send your question.